You know what? I was just driving and I saw this little strip mall plaza area in Saline, Michigan with two thrift stores, a Goodwill and a Salvation Army. So let's pop in there and see how much money we can make in under an hour. Only an hour. I'm in a hurry. Let's go. Here's the gist of it. Step one, walk into the Goodwill. Step two, find some shit they have undervalued. Step three, find someone else who uh, appreciates it for its correct market value. In between that whole process, we profit. We're calling this a two-stop Betty. Uh, two stops real quick. I'm looking to spend less than an hour here. I want to find some new in box stuff, new in package stuff, some good handheld electronics, whole bunch of stuff like that. Those wicker baskets may sell, but not during the winter. This Polaroid iZone camera here is new in box. I'm going to get about 60 bucks for that. I think it's going to be a good Christmas gift. Further down the line, all these printers are no-goes. Any DVD players that are big and bulky are no-goes. Any VCRs that are big and bulky are no-goes. This AudioVox DVD player, if it was Sony, I would buy it. They go for about 40 bucks at a local auction. This tiny DVD player, it's uh, not a brand I like to sell, Symphonic. Uh, if it was a dollar, I'd buy it, but it's not. It's, you know, the kind of thing where if I was desperate for inventory, I'd buy that, but I am not desperate. Down here, more of the same, a lot of the uh, just kind of big appliances we won't sell. Maybe I can find some good stuff over here, anything new in box. Christmas stuff, again, I mean, if I was selling at a flea market, maybe that would work, but online, it's not really going to sell online. There's just too much for sale. Okay, hmm, a dome tent. Now this is striking my interest because I think I could sell this at a local auction probably for about 20 or 30 bucks, but I don't know enough about tents and I don't want to buy it and open it up and see there's a big hole in it. It's only one, they only want eight bucks for it, so it's pretty cheap, but just I think that even though it's profitable, not the right item for this for this trip. There's two Umbro soccer balls right here. They're for little kids. They're just a small size, size three or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, size three for just small, small children. These are shelf pulls from Target, I believe. I saw a few Target tags in the store. Sometimes stores do that. Sometimes a Target will donate all of their overstock or damage box inventory, and you can come in, buy it, and resell it. That's what I'm trying to do here now is look for new and box stuff. Lots of good games. Lots of good Detroit sports stuff, but I have enough of that already. A few Funko Pops. These green tags mean they are used commercial goods. Green tags mean, uh, in this case, Target donated it. There's uh, usually, when I see these green tags, it means they're way, way overpriced. Some of these toys are insanely overpriced, like over the actual online value. Maybe that's the retail cost in some stores, but Amazon sells. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Amazon sells those for like 10 bucks. These are interesting. Bears versus babies. There are about eight of them here, but not all of them are in new condition. Some of them have that uh, protective paper wrap around them, I guess you might call it, that's been torn off. So I grabbed the ones that are in new condition, and I'll sell those on eBay. I'll get about 25 bucks per. Let's check out the DVDs. I had a good DVD haul with that, uh, that insect box set. I think probably I'll watch it first. I like learning things. I like documentaries. I also like video games that sell for a profit. And here... There are zero. That Sonic and Mario one may have been good three years ago, but now it's just bottomed out at about five bucks. Not that bad, actually. Uh, I was in there like 15, 20 minutes. There were a lot of new in box toys, those uh, kitten explosion brand when they're called like bears and babies or bears and puppies. I don't really even remember. Those sell for like 25 bucks. I got them for $5. I bought four or five of them. The real big winner is the Polaroid camera. Um, this one right here, iZone Polaroid camera. These sell for about 75 bucks and I bought it for $5. All new in package. I'm not sure if it'll be a gift or someone looking to emulate uh, early 2000s or late 90s style. Either way, they're gonna pay, well, 70 more dollars than I paid for it. And now we are driving to the uh, family store, Salvation Army, just across the parking lot. 
really super duper convenient. Okay, my girlfriend Ashley is waiting for me at a burrito place. I have like five minutes in here. Let's get into it. Uh, nothing here so good. It's a HDMI DVD player, but it's Pioneer brand, so I'm passing on it. Uh, Sony, but it's part of a large home theater system. I don't want to sell it alone, so I'm passing on it. This one down here is just a DVD player. It's a, a regular brand. Nothing here catching my eye. So uh, I'm going to put it in my cart, I guess, and look it up. But I have, you know, it's going to have to be the kind of thing where this is like brand new. And this is the top of the line home theater system. So I'll keep it, but I'm probably going to end up putting it back. I don't think I'm going to buy it. It's like 17 bucks, and that's too much for that unit. Hello Kitty Clock, not really worth that much. Some printers, worth not. Oh, what a printer. What are the they're toasters though? Okay, sorry about that, but uh, I saw these toasters and they caught my attention. That one's kind of dingy inside. I'm going to pass on it. But these four slot toaster bagel cooker things, this one actually has a, uh, you don't see it anymore, but it had a, a egg cooker on the side. I'm going to buy that. We'll go over it later. Over here, these walkie-talkies are cheap, and the back of the package is cut open, so I'm going to pass on those. A little digital camera. Four bucks, 12 megapixels, probably worth about 25 or 40 bucks, and it'll sell pretty fast. Anything back here? Any new in-box stuff? No, I don't think so. That phone, maybe, but it's not. It's opened up. Does it power on? No, it doesn't power on. Let's see. Sometimes these are bust, and that's why they get donated. But if there's a memory card in the slot, and there is, that probably means someone used it and just said, okay, I'm done using this. If they're broken, if they break in use, usually that memory card gets taken out. Little tip I've learned along the way. Any good golf clubs here? Lynx is a probably a C rating brand. If there's A, B, C, D, and E, maybe F brand is like broken shit. Uh, they're a C brand. I'm going to pass on that. I'll do A and B brands like Titleist or Callaway or uh, Srixon or any of those kind of clubs. But Lynx, mm, if it was summer, I might buy that for a couple bucks and sell it for like $25, 20 bucks. Golf clubs sell easy in Michigan. You'd think hockey stuff would too, but I just don't know enough about hockey, hockey skates, so I'm going to pass on those. Looking for just, again, the easy ones. Um, nothing new in box here. Oh, that's an Imaginext Batman toy, and that's a little claw toy next to it. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to buy this because I go through these all the time. My mom buys these. Uh, she buys toys on Facebook and gives them to me to sell online. And she always gets this Imagine Next or Imagineer. I'm not sure what it is, but I recognize the body design of that Batman car. It's not broken off on top. It's missing a piece. It looks like it's broken, but for three bucks, uh, I will take a risk on it. That car alone with the Batman fig inside of it is going to sell for about 20 bucks on eBay. Might take a while to get that price because it isn't complete, but I think I'll be able to salvage together a complete set. Here are the video games here, and I'm not seeing anything too valuable. Doom 3 is kind of cool, but not worth anything. This one, NCAA, double, uh, NCAA Football 13, not as valuable as 14, but just by feeling it, I can tell it's empty inside. It felt a little bit light, so that is worthless. It sucks. Someone took it out probably and just swapped it around or put four games in one case and got them that way. That game sells for about 20 bucks used on Amazon and about 10 bucks, 12 bucks used on eBay. This on Xbox is worth money, but it's not Xbox. It's for PC. So again, passing on it. Back in the warehouse now. This is what I got at the second stop. This is what I got at the first stop. We have these bears versus babies. Four of those, five bucks a piece. They'll sell for 20, 25 bucks a piece. This is a Beat Bow Bow Wow Wow toy. Sold for about 30 bucks. That Polaroid camera should go for about 60 bucks. Hip Hop Dance Experience goes for about 15 bucks. This goes for about 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, but I think I might hold on to this until it's discontinued because, I don't know, it just strikes me as the kind of thing that's going to go up in value. I don't have any reason to think that, but it says, uh, you know, real gold, Treasure X Dragons. I don't know, it just seems like kind of a good gimmick to cash in on when they are no longer selling them at retail price. And then on this side, we have the Imaginex Batman toy. I think it's Imaginex, I'm not sure, but whatever this is up here, um, it's not broken, it's a different part it needs. It has a little Batman guy inside. I'm gonna auction this off, I'll get about 15 bucks for it, or I might just buy that part. I don't remember what it is exactly. If it's a figurine who stands on here, or if it's a gun or something, this style of toy is very good. It's the Imaginext or, or whatever it is. It's um, a Mattel toy. I think it's Imaginext or Imagineers. I could be slaughtering the name, but this style of toy, if you see it, you know what I'm talking about. 
A new in-box Dora the Explorer bubble sprinkler. Mm, pretty crappy. Looks almost bootleg, but it's real. This, $3. There's no evidence it'll sell. Sales rank is over like 1.5 million, but I'm gonna put it at 70 bucks and hopefully someone buys it as a Christmas gift. The final thing is this toaster right here. I always talk about toasters, the big four slice toasters. These I think are bagel slices. You can see there, those are bagels in two. And on this side is a little heating pad. Uh, it must have fallen out, but what I have over here somewhere in my car is a little, it comes with a uh, like a little flipper. You flip eggs, you cook in it, a pot or a, um, I think, what are they called? A cooking, uh, they, they're just called pans, I guess. A little, little tiny pan in there. This goes for 125 new, 80 uh, on eBay. I'm gonna sell it at a local auction or on Facebook and I actually get about 50 bucks for it, but there's no shipping. Uh, the fees are gonna be just 15% at a local auction or no fees on Facebook, but I should get uh, out of that $5 I spent, I should get about 60 bucks back. Okay, I gotta list this stuff right here. Should be easy. That was the video, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, please, if you can, don't be a shithead.